Tis I, Oatmeal. I still don't know if I'm keeping that channel name, but that's okay, we'll just keep using it for now. So the other day I had a strong urge to start making some art for fun, but I didn't really know what to draw. But then I got an idea. What if I make a frog barbarian? And the final result was this guy. But this awakened something deep within. I was filled with inspiration, fueled by it. And so I drew this dude. Unfortunately, I used way too small of a canvas uh, since I was just having a good time and drawing for fun. But this was no time for playing around. This was serious. So I decided to redraw him and I recorded my screen while I did. You're welcome. The Barbarian is an interesting class in Dungeons and Dragons. It's one of those few classes that I haven't played yet, but I have played with one for a three year long campaign. So I have half a dump of Barbarian stories. This is one of my favorites. Our party was very small, consisting of just two players. My character, Detective Soba, a Triton wizard, and the star of our show, Katu. Katu was a tabaxi barbarian, but what he really wanted to be was a rogue. The problem was that he was from a merchant family that had a lot of expectations placed on him by his father. Expectations that he was not going to fall short of. And so he became a wayfaring, trailblazing barbarian. Someone who could protect his family's merchandise while it was being shipped from one town to another and all throughout the wilderness and everywhere in between. At least until someone stole a bunch of stuff from them and got away with it. Then he set out on his own adventure, hoping to someday run into that thief again and make him pay for the crimes committed against his family. And that's how he ended up on an adventure with my character. That's the, the Detective Soba, if you remember. I just showed him to you. Despite his hatred for the thief that wronged him so long ago, occasionally Katu's own roguish tendencies would peek through. We had just helped a town solve a very intense murder mystery but we needed to get a move on. Our next destination was a city on the other side of a vast, rocky desert. It was going to be a long and difficult journey, so we had to head out as soon as possible. We were in the process of replenishing our supplies when I spied a magic shop. Reluctantly, Katu allowed the brief distraction from our itinerary. Inside the shop, I was able to buy an additional cantrip for my wizard and a couple of trinkets, spending all the money that I had just gained from solving the murder mystery. I asked Katu if he wanted anything, but he refused, stating that he didn't really need anything else to get us through the desert. And that was probably true. Katu preferred to travel light, with not much more than the clothes on his back. Or I guess in this case his butt, since he had been running around in nothing but a pair of well-loved pants to help stave off the desert heat. Plus, you know, going shirtless is just part of that barbarian trip. So I bought my strange assortment of knickknacks, paddywax, and give a dog a bone when the store owner let us in on a little tip. You see, she knew a guy who knows a guy who knows this lizard guy who might be able to get us where we're going in the blink of an eye. She gave us directions and set us on our way. Katu was able to navigate the absolute shit out of those directions and had us arriving at the lizard guy's hut in no time. We were expecting a dragonborn or a lizard folk, but instead it was just a hippie, chilling on some rocks surrounded by half a dump of little lizards. So we start chatting up with the lizard hippie and he says he can get us across the desert. For a price. But here's the thing, dude didn't have any means of transportation. No wagon, no cart, no camels, nothing. So we ask him how exactly he was going to get us across the desert. So the man pulls a lizard out of his pocket and places it on the ground, telling us to stand back. Yeah man, it's a self-defense mechanism these lizards possess. I'm the only person alive that has successfully tamed these little dudes. The lizard man explained, but Katu was not listening. His mind was full of the possibilities that possessing such a creature could open to him. So while the lizard dude is explaining to me the logistics of giant lizard travel, Katu sneaks off and starts trying to grab one of these lizards from off the rocks. The DM has him roll an athletics check to see if he can catch one. And being a barbarian, the absolute paragon of athleticism, of course he passes. Alright, you grab a lizard, says the DM. What do you want to do with it? I stick it in my pocket. Oh. oh no! Katu's poor pants had already been through so much. All the constant fighting, desert traveling, and murder mystery solving had not been kind on them. They were barely hanging on by a thread as it was. That little lizard was just the straw that broke the camel's back. A straw that could magically gigantify itself when threatened. And as it turns out, being placed in some random cat barbarian's pocket is not quite as comforting as Katu initially had thought. All that aside, the real problem here was that those pants were the only clothing Katu had. Barbarian trip and all that. 
In the end, we did make it safely across the desert. Katu ended up wearing a barrel like one of those old-timey cartoons, but he wore the absolute shit out of that barrel. Being super buff definitely helped in that department. Still, when we finally made it to town, Katu bought the most durable pants money could afford. And if you want the most durable digital wallpaper that money can afford, then you can get this puppy! Now available on my Etsy shop! Wow! Link in description! Wowie! So neat! Super cool! Wow! Yeah! Alright, so what did we learn here? 1. Barbarians are athletic as hell, and sometimes that makes them good rogues. 2. It is confidence that makes the outfit. And 3. Buy good pants, especially when they are your only form of clothing. It is hard to be confident when your pants explode. Little known fact, this is actually how barbarians end up in loincloths. They start out in pants, but eventually they evolve to their final form, a half-naked person with anger issues. Thank you so much for listening to my silly little story and watching me draw this silly little guy. Now there is a prophecy of a true hero, the Chosen One, who will unite the forces of good by liking the video and subscribing, and maybe even hitting the little bell dealio. Who knows? But of course, you are always free to refuse the call until next time. Until then, fare thee well.